This week, we start with some white dude that gets his Mercedes smashed while yelling at somebody on the phone. It looks like it was this ogre thing. Then he tries to run away and gets electrocuted, and we get treated to some terrible CGI smoke. Then we go back to woke Batman and get reminded that young bad acting Alice was held by a madman with a medical license. Well, he was a white dude on woke Batman, so these types of things are to be expected. Daddy tells woke Batman that the deed to the house was under the name of Dr. August Cartwright. I see, Daddy. So now you do investigative work. But when you were at the house 15 years ago, while your daughter was in the basement, you did nothing. Then woke Batman and Daddy have an argument because Daddy took too long to believe that bad acting Alice was his daughter. We feel for you, man. But this is woke Batman's show, and woke Batman is always right. Next, we find out that the shouty, cowardly white dude that got electrocuted was Assistant District Attorney Angus Stanton. It looks like Stanton helped put many bad guys, including the Joker, her away. But I bet we're gonna learn of some shadiness as this episode progresses. Daddy is mad that every news outlet has this, and he didn't know nothing. Well, Daddy, this is somewhat questionable considering you run a security investigatory company. You really are woke Batman's dad, aren't you? The ogre is wearing an old-style executioner's mask and carries an axe. Then Daddy gets even madder that everyone is calling for woke Batman. He calls it a symbol of false hope. That's great insight, dude, considering dear Sophie always seems to be the one saving the day. Perhaps you and woke Batman really aren't cut out for this justice thing. Next, dear Sophie asks Daddy if she can go on a mission to find out who woke Batman really is. Oh dear Sophie, is it really that much of a mystery? I guess that ridiculous looking red wig got you fooled. Next, bad acting Alice is hanging out with Mouse and trying on dead people's faces. Such a delightful show this is. Last week I recommended taking poor Mouse to a dermatologist, rather than sticking dead people's flesh on him. But they just ignored me. And, just a question, when did bad acting Alice become a plastic surgeon? Oh wait, I forgot. This is woke Batman's universe. If you believe you can, then you can. As long as you ain't a white dude, then you're most likely a villain. Or woke Batman's angry daddy. I call a load of hooey on this. You people are going to start giving young people very unrealistic expectations. At least, if anyone was watching your show you would. It looks like bad acting Alice is making Mouse look like some white dude named Mr. Devereaux. Well that's impressive for somebody that has no medical training. Bad acting Alice wants Mouse to steal scheming stepmommy's shiny new toy. The plot thickens. Next, bad acting Alfred tells woke Batman that the Gotham City Police Department has put its faith in her as they shine the bastardized bat signal. Well, GCPD, that's just giving up. It looks like Stanton was the one that got the guy that killed Lucius Fox locked up. Wait, a white dude did something useful? No wonder they decided to portray him as a cowardly bully. Don't worry though, shadiness is coming. Then, what's this? Some guy claiming to be the ogre has barricaded himself and daddy's on the case. Is it just me or does daddy look even grumpier than usual this week? Woke Batman is also on the case and, oh no, it runs into dear Sophie and we get some more drama. Woke Batman, shouldn't you be focusing on Oh, I don't know. The hostages? Then we hear screaming and find out that it's just a recording and nobody is actually there. Well, that's another one on the fail list for Daddy and Woke Batman. Wow, you two really suck at what you do. Then some automatic guns go off and dear Sophie gets shot as Woke Batman looks on. Great work, guys. And let's just ignore the poor white dude that also got shot. Actually, never mind. I have a feeling he's on the shady list too. Next, rather than taking dear Sophie to an actual hospital, Woke Batman takes her to Diversity Hire Number 5's illegal clinic. Woke Batman says it brought dear Sophie to the clinic so the crows won't know she's missing. Wow, the choices made in this show just boggle the mind. Even bad acting Alfred tells Woke Batman that this is a stupid plan. Next, we learn that the ogre is using methods of capital punishment to kill his victims, and bad acting Alfred tells us that Gotham City has three methods of capital punishment, the electric chair, a firing squad, and the gas chamber. Quick question. Isn't capital punishment supposed to be controlled at the state level and not the city level? Next, woke Batman breaks into the warehouse that stores the killing gas and a security guard makes the mistake of flirting with it. That ain't gonna go down well with woke Batman. That stuff isn't allowed in 2019, dude. Then daddy captures the guy they think is ogre. Good lord, woke Batman. Catching just one criminal might be nice, but then we learn that it isn't the ogre as woke Batman gets hit by a truck driven by the ogre, gets knocked out, and the ogre steals the killing gas. You suck, woke Batman. Luck 
Luckily, part of the truck's license plate is visible on the bat suit, and bad acting Alfred is able to track it. Well, that was quick. It turns out that the truck belongs to Gotham City's former executioner, because we don't kill people at the state level in the world of woke Batman. God help you if you piss off the mayor. Then dear Sophie wakes up and seems to be in pretty good shape for someone that was just shot. Diversity hire number five must be a real miracle worker with her no licensing. Dear Sophie is not very happy that woke Batman chained her to a bed. Then woke Batman breaks into the ogre's house and finds a USB stick, and we learn that the villain is, get ready for it, another white dude. Didn't see this coming. He's not happy that he was executing people convicted with planted evidence. See, I knew there was some shadiness surrounding those white dudes. Well, when you can give death sentences at the local level, this tends to happen. Woke Batman starts to sympathize with the ogre. Yes, Woke Batman, let's just start killing people now. Then Woke Batman frees the falsely accused guy from the crows, and Daddy's not happy. Woke Batman calls bad acting Alice and asks why Mouse stole a weapon that could kill it. But wait, it wasn't Woke Batman on the phone after all. It was Mouse, and he knows who Woke Batman is now. Oh no, you're a tricky little bugger, Mouse. He's not happy because he feels he's being betrayed by bad acting Alice. Alice, then he shoots the prisoner dude, and bad acting Alice looks sad. I guess she forgot about all those people she killed. Good lord, show. There is this thing called character consistency. Perhaps you should try employing it. Then Rachel Maddow is not happy with woke Batman because she freed that dude, and she says she's feeling bat trade. Such creative dialogue. Then Daddy starts reviewing the USB stick that woke Batman gave him with the info about the real ogre. Daddy's not happy with the claims that a judge is being portrayed as a fraud and isn't going to look into it because, and I quote, some social justice warrior thinks he knows more about the rule of law than the cops and lawyers who protect this city. Wow, woke Batman, your writers really need to look up the meaning of subtlety. Then angry Daddy spends the next few minutes yelling about how much he hates real Batman. Next, dear Sophie he escapes the handcuffs woke Batman put on her with no effort and gets into an argument with diversity hire number five. Great work, woke Batman. Then woke Batman visits the shady judge, another white dude, while he's burning evidence. And he runs away, just like the assistant district attorney, because white dudes are cowards and shady, get it? Then woke Batman prevents the ogre from killing the shady judge, and he runs away. Great work, woke Batman. Then woke Batman and the ogre get into a tussle, and Daddy shoots the ogre because woke Batman is is incapable of taking down any bad guys. Then Daddy and Woke Batman have a standoff and get into an argument about accountability. Then they get trapped in the courtroom as deadly gas comes through the vents. Oh no, Woke Batman tries to save Daddy as he goes on about how much he hates the real Batman because if he doesn't blame real Batman, then he must blame himself. No, just blame your crappy detective skills, dude. Then Woke Batman lights the gas on fire and they're saved. And I'm amazed that Woke Batman finally did something useful and even Rachel Maddow's impressed. But bad acting Alfred isn't impressed because now his dad's murder case is being reopened and Woke Batman is mad at diversity hire number five for letting dear Sophie escape. Well, you were the one that did a crappy job securing her, Woke Batman. Then Woke Batman and Daddy make peace. Until he finds out that his daughter is Woke Batman, that is. Then, bad acting Alice and Mouse make peace too. How touching. Assuming Woke Batman doesn't get cancelled first, stay tuned to this channel to find out what kind of wacky shenanigans happen next week. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscription and notification status because YouTube is being shady on these things lately. And follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.